Hello and welcome to the CB74 channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the iPega Bluetooth Wireless Game Controller. This wireless game controller is available at Gearbest and it retails for about £14, which is just under $20. I'll be testing it on an Amazon Fire HD tablet, an iPhone, an Android phone and also I'm going to see how it tackles the Amazon Fire TV. So stay tuned. The iPega wireless Bluetooth controller. This is the box that it came in. It was a little bit beat up, but um, you know, it's okay. But once you get into the box, it was, well, there wasn't really much in it really. It was just a controller. Yeah, got some instructions, quite extensive instructions, but nothing else. There was a cable as well to charge it. The instructions were quite a lot of them, they were in different languages, but it was clear enough and it worked out quite well. I managed to set it up pretty quickly. The actual device is, well, it's a little bit plasticky. It took me no more than 15 seconds to work out how to clip it all together, but I'm not sure how long it will last. But then again, I'm not going to be using it for a lot of games, it's just going to be the odd game, you know, a bit of light gaming. The controls are a little bit spongy, but I thought they were actually okay. Not as great as uh, maybe a £50 controller, but there you go. What can you expect? Setting it up onto the iOS device was surprisingly very easy. All you do is you press the middle button and the B button together for about a second, and then the device just pops up automatically, and you connect up, and it was really, really easy. Playing Sonic the Hedgehog, I was a little bit excited to see if this was going to work and a couple of the buttons did work. Pressed the button and it started, but then when the game started, nothing after that. I'm afraid it was an absolute bust for iOS. Apple, you've done it again. So, on to Android, old trustworthy Android and my Samsung Note 4. Yes, I've got a Samsung Note 4. But as you expect, it paired up without a bit of breeze and lo and behold, it worked first time. And the game was working. Apart from some dodgy play from myself, it was excellent. All the controls were responsive. It worked just as you'd expect if you were playing the PlayStation or indeed the old Mega Drive. So Android, you didn't let me down. Full marks, totally worked. So I'm curious now, what else would it work on? What about my Amazon Fire HD tablet? Sega. So setting up was a breeze, as was the other devices. I was curious, is this going to work? Well, turned it on. No, nothing worked. Nothing worked at all. I was bashing around for my life, but nothing worked at all. So this was the iOS nightmare all over again. Amazon, I had such high hopes for you, but you've let me down. Urgh. So I wasn't holding out much hope for the Amazon Fire TV. That was the main reason I wanted this controller, because I didn't want to spend the £40 on the regular one. So I set it up anyway. Went through the settings, set it up as an Amazon Fire TV game controller and hoped for the best. Set it up like an Android box, so it's the middle button and the A button. And would it work? Mm, it was pairing and then I thought, I'm just going to press it as if it's an Amazon Fire TV device. And it worked. I never doubted you for a second, Amazon. So I set it up to play Beach buggy racing, bit of a favourite in the Beeks' household, and I was hoping for the best, and lo and behold, it worked. All the pedals worked. The only thing that didn't work was me trying to look at the screen and the pedals at the same time. But on to the game, and can't complain. Everything worked. The responsiveness was as what you would expect. When you pressed the button, it moved. Just what you want a controller to do. So, Amazon, you didn't let me down and you've also saved me £30 in the process. So it just goes to show you take a little bit of a risk and sometimes you get a reward. 
because I was led to believe that it was only official Amazon controllers that worked with it. So, the iPega wireless Bluetooth controller from Gearbest. Hmm, £14, £12 price point? Not bad for that. I mean, let's face it, the quality's never going to be as best as the £40 mark. But, you know, it does the job. The little bit that the phone sits on, hmm, not the strongest. A few times it fell over, and I'm not sure how long that's going to last, but then I didn't really get it for that. So, as long as it works with the Amazon Fire TV, I think I'm going to be happy. It's £14. You can't really go wrong at that price. So, to sum up, I'm going to pass you off to this rather handsome gentleman. So, in conclusion, what do I think of this? Well, for iOS, it's rubbish. But then nothing works with iOS anyway. Gotta be honest, I was a little bit disappointed it didn't connect to the Amazon Fire device, but it connects with the Amazon Fire TV, and it'll connect with an Android box as well. That is a no-brainer. These things connect with everything. So, for £12, not bad, you know. The official one for that is £40. So, I don't think I'll be rushing out to buy one for £40 for a little bit of casual gaming. Stick with this or something like this, you can't go wrong. So it just goes to prove you don't necessarily have to spend an awful lot of money to get what you want, which is peace from the kids, let's face it. So that was my review of this wireless Bluetooth controller. Hope you liked it. There's going to be plenty more product reviews on the CB74 channel. If you don't want to miss them, well, you know what to do. And there's also a little bell thingy you can press. So, I hope you're well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.